Yeah. I spit raps like a heart attack Fast fatal heart impact Past painful scars In fact, I blast tasteful bars And pass I back up my actions Fact, don't ask Grab reactions Jack attack with every word Then act with class As they hear me snap I got nothing to lose Cause I fought and felt the bruise Now I'm not the one confused Call the shots and they produce I ain't lost, I'm finally loose Pick a new so for excuse I need the views to boost me To a new abuse of being used Everybody wants a piece now Y'all can rest in peace Now you're dead to me So peace out Remember you just reaped out Keep ready for defeat now I'm gonna make you bleed out Listen on repeat now And weed out all the weak now Get up and make a change Don't remember yesterday If you got something to say Speak your mind before your grave Cause your life is yours to save Ain't nobody gonna change Everybody stays the same So be different, make and a name, like huh? A soldier, just like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer March until it's over And just like a soldier I keep on moving forward. I 
always getting closer I'm marching till it's over I'm just like a soldier I'm spitting this meticulous and limitless While others out there spitting shit Got hits up on the charts and sit I see why other artists quit Cause people don't reward your shit They love to hate but hate to live Society you swing and miss And honestly I get it Promise me you won't regret it Wasting energy forget it Don't look back who wanna get it Bite the bullet just a bit Bite your tongue and don't say shit Make your actions hard to miss Be a legend not a myth yeah. It's obnoxious that I'm conscious Rapping honest as promise Try to harness As an artist stay modest It's a long quest I will not not quit till 10,000 people going off when I drop this. I gotta make it now. Swear to God, I'm breaking out. Swear to God, I'll take a bow. Send a stage with the crowd. Cause I got it figured out. I'm just honest and I'm loud. Saying modest, but I'm proud. No, I never had a just doubt. Like yeah. a soldier. I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. I'm marching till it's over. And just like a soldier. I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. I'm marching to the sober. I'm just like a soldier. Welcome everyone to Sunday Night Showdown. I am the only JM and I am riding along solo here tonight. Donnie Dumps could not make his flight here to Indianapolis. But we get a stacked card for you tonight. In our main event, it's going to be Ashley Gomez taking on Ember Gray and two mystery opponents to determine the first ever internet champion. We got the New England Championship match, Outcast vs. Crimson Black, Jessica Porter and Mia Galati go one-on-one -on -one to determine the number one contender for the Women's Championship. Charm City Kings will take on the last call. We have Nick Adams versus Nathan Edwards and Christian Maniac in triple threat action. We have John Martin Sr. in his first singles bout of the season against Hannibal. And we're going to start it off right here, right now. Trey Mercer versus Wade Franklin. And here comes the full family of the resistance. Trey Mercer set for singles action here, but he did not come alone. Then you see Sebastian Walker and Mia Galati escorting him to the ring. Looks like the rest of the resistance want to support Trey Mercer. His first singles bout here in Jam Pro 2K. And so far in Jam Pro 2K this season, everyone thinks of the resistance as a tag team unit. But they're much more than that. We've seen Sebastian Walker make his mark on high spot in the cruiserweight division. Trey Mercer. Is a world pronounced singles athlete in his own right. He's 
Ryan's going to try to show that here tonight. Going against Wade Franklin. Here comes FOF member Wade Franklin. Has had a slow start here in season four of Jam Pro 2K, trying to change his uh, his luck around here tonight. Let's see if he can do it. Here's Trey Mercer, Wade Franklin. Both men look ready. And there's the ring of the bell right away. Trey Mercer with a clothesline right out of the gate. Now, wait a second. And here comes the brute strength from Trey Mercer, deadlifting Wade Franklin and just holding him over his head. And that is not a small man by any means, folks. Brings him up to a knee and a big chop there by Trey Mercer. Trey Mercer once again. Look at the strength of this man. And wait, quick reversal by Wade Franklin into a DDT. That took Trey Mercer off guard. Quick roll up here by Wade Franklin. One and a kick out after one. Wade Franklin trying to keep Trey Mercer on his toes here. Kick to the midsection. Now wait a second, single leg hook. Oh, and he just drops him down and meets him with a fist in the face. And Wade Franklin feeling the momentum here early in this matchup. And he is staying on the offensive, working on Trey Mercer. He goes for that kick and misses. Trey Mercer gets to his feet. And he goes for a backbreaker on Wade Franklin, but he's able to fight out of it. Another kick to the midsection. Trey Mercer, wait a second. Oh, another display of strength there by Trey Mercer. Bringing Wade Franklin back to his feet after that slam. And looks like he's going to do it again. Oh, here we go. Working on the ribs and a big slam right there to follow. Trey Mercer now brings Wade Franklin to his feet. And he gets tripped up. And a single arm drag there by Trey Mercer. Goes for the chop and misses. Quick jab right there. Forearm shot. Another one. Has Wade up against the ropes here. Now kicking the shin. Of Wade Franklin. Wade Franklin now is just taken out of his game. And what a, what a big clothesline there. Into a pin. Ref out of position. One, two, and a kick out after two. Trey Mercer can't believe it there. He thought that clothesline was enough to put him away. And there's Wade Franklin fighting back. Showing that he's still got some fuel in the tank. Brings Trey Mercer back to his feet. Irish win. Knocks down the referee off the roll. Both men bump into each other. Another Irish rip. And that just throws Trey Mercer right on the outside of the ring. And Trey Mercer just taunting or being taunted by Wade Franklin. I'm sorry. As the referee starts his count, Wade Franklin goes on the outside to meet Trey Mercer. Trey Mercer now. Oh, just slams Wade's head right off the side of the ring there on that LED screen. Franklin able to push Trey off of him. Goes back inside the ring to break the ref's count. And he's just begging Trey Mercer to get back in the ring at this point. Trey Mercer slow to get to his feet as the ref continues the count. And now both men are back in the ring. Irish whip though. Now wait. Franklin gets tossed out of the ring. Trey Mercer in pursuit. And the ref restarts the 10 count. Wade Franklin brought to his feet. Wade goes for a suplex. No. Wade slithers out of it. Gets back in the ring. Trey in pursuit. Both men back in the ring. And a single leg drop kick there by Trey Mercer. And right away going for the pin. Hook the leg right here. One. 
two, and a kick out at two. Trey Mercer getting extremely aggravated now. He's using every opportunity he can to take advantage. And look at the big man. He's actually going to the top rope here. What are we going to see here? Trey Mercer looks like he is waiting for Wade Franklin to get to his feet. Oh, and he tries to drop the hammer. But Wade Franklin sidesteps it. Trey Mercer goes to the outside to gather himself. Comes back in with a chop. But a cross body by Wade Franklin. Followed by a fury of lefts and rights. Brings Tramp to his feet. Trey counters with a back body drop. Now a big boot. To Wade Franklin while he's on the mat. Trey repositioning Wade Franklin for something. Off the ropes. Here he goes. Oh, and a big splash. Putting all of his body weight in the lower back of Wade Franklin. Now Wade Franklin comes back. He had to go on the outside. Looks like he's going on the outside to regather himself, but I think he forgot that the rest of the resistance is out there. Remember, it took too much time. He gets met with that jab by Trey Mercer. Trey Mercer now going for something right here. Oh, my God. He just drove the knee of Wade Franklin right into the mat. Using Wade Franklin's weight against him. Oh, and a big spear in the corner, but it's sidestepped by Wade Franklin. Wade Franklin now rolls to the outside of the ring. Comes back in. Trey Mercer waiting for him. Throws him into the corner here. And now what, what is Trey Mercer doing? Setting up Wade for something. Coming off the rope. Oh, my God. There's a big shoulder tackle. NFL-style tackle right there. Hook of the leg. One, two, and a kick out. Right after two, Trey Mercer is shocked that Wade Franklin is still holding on in this matchup. Irish whip into the corner. Wade Franklin now being repositioned by Trey Mercer. Kick to the midsection. Head butts, lefts, rights. And now Trey Mercer onto the outside of the ring. Wade Franklin hanging over that bottom rope. Wait a second. Oh my God, a vicious drop kick by Trey Mercer. Right to the head of Wade Franklin. Hook of the leg right here. One, two, and a kick out after two again. And look at the aggravation in Trey Mercer. Slamming his hand against the mat. Really thought that was going to be it right there. Wait a second. Look at the burst of energy coming from Wade Franklin. Popping up back to his feet. Now whips Trey. Wait a second. Oh, he's pushing the, the resistance out of the way. They don't want to get Trey disqualified here. Oh, my God. Look at the athleticism by Wade Franklin. The big man diving in between the bottom and middle turnbuckle to the other side of the corner there to hit that DDT on Trey Mercer. And now he throws Trey back into the ring. And it looks like Wade Franklin just catching a breath right here. Trying to regather himself and just mocking Trey Mercer. I think he's wasting a little bit of time here, though. He should be going for the pin. Wade's got Trey Mercer cradled here. Oh, and he drops him right on the knee there. That's a way to break a rib or two. Hook of the leg right here. One, two, and another kick out. This time by Trey. And I just noticed Trey's head has been busted open. Wade Franklin stalking Trey Mercer as he slowly gets back to his feet. He might finish it right here. There's a big knee to the gut. Looks like a pump action handle slam into a sit-down driver. One, two, and another kick out Trey fighting with everything he's got to stay into this matchup. And look at Wade Franklin continuously being confident, thinking he's going to finish it right here. And it looks like he's going to go with a second one of those drivers in a row. Back to back. One, two, three right there. Wade Franklin picks up the victory. Here's your replay brought to you by Crossface Pro. It was that single leg drop kick we saw earlier. Only got Trey Mercer a two count. And here was that NFL style tackle right there. Trey Mercer going shoulder to shoulder with Wade Franklin. There's another point of the match where I thought it might have been over, but that was only a two count.
There's that vicious drop kick to the side of the head. The way Franklin. Trey thought he had it there as well, but it wasn't enough. There's that great rib buster there by Wade Franklin. And it took two of these, folks. That devastating finishing maneuver from Wade Franklin, two in a row. And that finished this match off. And Wade Franklin grabs a W for the FOF brand here tonight on Sunday Night Showdown. And you see Mia Galati and Sebastian Walker on the outside. They are, they are not happy about this. But moving right along, folks, coming up, John Martin Sr. in his first singles match since season three. And he is taking on Hannibal. That's coming up right here, right now. The Martin Experience. Well, here we go, folks. JMS, John Martin Sr. decided not to come alone with two of his fellow last call teammates. His cousin Scumbag Ra and Colt Bronson. These two men representing last call and tag team action a little bit later here tonight. And as you see, JMS proudly wearing his GIW World Middleweight Championship that he won just last week against Seth Schmidt on GIW. But fell short to Seth Schmidt this week in GIW. Giving Seth Schmidt the right to face him again next week. So make sure you're tuning in to GIW to see that. You're going to think if you're Hannibal, seeing all these men come out with JMS. It's like he's going to have to have eyes in the back of his head with Colt Bronson and the Scumbag Raw on the outside of the ring. And here comes Hannibal. And since season four has kicked off, Hannibal has had a successful season so far this year. His only loss is at the draft lottery special. Ended up losing to the world champion in a non-title matchup, Jay Omega. But since then, he's been putting on a clinic here and one of the best matches of the season against Christian Mania so Hannibal's been working against some of the bigger names in the company and coming out with some great results 
Even the matchup he lost to Jay Omega. It was a great matchup. He put everything he had into it and just fell short. So Hannibal's definitely put his name in the conversation for championship contention this year. He's got a great opportunity here against a Jam Pro original in John Martin Sr. And JMS looks ready. Hannibal looking ready. And here we go. Singles action. And quickly, collar elbow tie up. Hannibal takes advantage with the rear waist lock. And he's really trying to apply pressure to JMS here. But wait, there's a quick snap there into a headlock now. And just like that, JMS has Hannibal grounded and he drives the knee into the lower back. And then, oh my God, right away, going right for the arm. That is JMS's style. He is working on the arm. He's always setting up for the arm bar. But a quick arm drag by Hannibal. And they call her and will tie up again. JMS now applying the pressure, pushing Hannibal back against the rope. And we're gonna have to see the referee get in between this. Clean break out of these two men. Goes for the spear. Hannibal misses and ca catches the referee with it. And JMS taking advantage, forearm shot at the forearm shot. And now going right back to the arm as the referee just gets back to his feet. That is unbelievable. JMS continuously working on Hannibal's arm now. Goes to pick him up, but wait a second, quick counter by Hannibal. Trying to retake control of the matchup. And look at the strength of Hannibal with the deadlift powerbomb. Picking up JMS off the mat and slamming him right back down. But JMS, JMS quickly counters to retake control of the matchup. Has Hannibal down to a knee. Picks him up slowly. Right back to the arm now. What's he doing here? Oh my god, he just jammed it right into the mat there. That could either dislocate an elbow or a shoulder. And now he's got the first... Submission hold locked in here, but Hannibal's quickly breaking out of it with his free hand. And now Hannibal, Irish whipping JMS into the corner, and a drop kick to the lower back. But JMS with the elbow, and wait a second, goes for the arm bar it looks like, but a quick reversal by Hannibal into the arm drag. Hannibal had it scouted. And an STO. Bringing JMS right down to the mat, picking him right back up to his feet. Oh, what a great move right there. Dropping all of his body weight on the JMS. Picking him back up again. Irish whip. Off the rope. Oh, my God. Great move right there by Hannibal. Hannibal now going right to the top rope right here. But wait. JMS just nipped right to his feet. And he had a scout and sidesteps Hannibal's high-risk maneuver attempt. But Hannibal coming right back with that dragon screw leg takedown. Both men miss. And JMS grabs a hold of Hannibal and goes right back to the arm. As Hannibal grounded. Oh, and he's just starting to stop Hannibal out. And this is where JMS really starts to dissect you piece by piece. JMS really applying the pressure here now. Bringing Hannibal back to his feet. But Hannibal with a quick counter right there. Shoulder thrust takedown. Bringing JMS back to his feet. Oh, great kick to the midsection there. And another coming off the rope. Sunset flip right there. But driving JMS onto his knees. One, two. Kicks out after the two right there. Hannibal really thought he had it. Oh, here we go. Hannibal setting JMS up for his for his straight Claymore kick, but JMS had a scout and sidesteps it. Irish whip by Hannibal now. JMS into the corner. Oh, straight spear into the corner. Backflip and another. JMS now sitting in the corner. Hannibal went to apply the pressure, but JMS caught the foot. Now he's getting back to his feet. And he uses the leverage against Hannibal, throwing Hannibal right to the mat. Now Hannibal's going to look out. JMS with a kick to the midsection. It was caught, though, by Hannibal with the step over Insiguri counter. 
JMS goes to the outside to regather himself, gets right back onto the inside, grabs the arm of Hannibal. Now he's trying to just show the strength and lift him up. Great slam there, holding onto the arm and continuously to work on the arm. And now JMS just taunting this crowd. After that great exchange, Hannibal in trouble now. Here comes JMS. That great maneuver right there, stretching out Hannibal. But Hannibal able to use his feet to break out of it. Goes to the right hand, it's countered by JMS. Follows it with a forearm, and he gets tossed over the top rope, onto the outside apron. And here comes Hannibal. But wait, JMS gets back in the ring. Hannibal down from behind, though. Oh, what a great move right there. He drops JMS face first onto his knees there. And what looks like Hannibal's going to do it again. He's setting up for another one of these Claymore kicks. And JMS is going to look out. Here it comes. And connects. That might be right there. Hook the leg. One, two, and a kick out at two. Hannibal can't believe it. He got all of that one. And JMS kicked out basically just by instinct right there. And now he's applying the pressure. He's staying on JMS. He knows he's got to keep him grounded and keep him working. Trying to keep him tired. Do not want to give JMS time to rejuvenate. JMS back to his feet. Hannibal has him just where he wants him. He's picking him up now. Oh my God. He drops him right on the knee and follows it up with a straight kick. JMS gets back to his feet somehow. Met with another roundhouse kick right to the head. But wait. Fighting back, JMS with a forearm shot to the face. Goes right back to that arm. And by this point, Hannibal's going to be worried. He's going to look out for that arm bar. And a great way to cut JMS off with that backdrop. That rear suplex. JMS landing high and tight right there. Hannibal repositioning him. Here we go with another kick. And I think Hannibal's going to end it right here. Hannibal looking. Wait a second. JM. He fought out of it. Kick to the midsection there. Goes right back for the arm. And he just rips it over his shoulder. And now he's got him grounded. JMS doing everything he can to stay on Hannibal. Now the roles have reversed. Now it's JMS stalking Hannibal. Hannibal in trouble. Kick to the midsection. Is this it? Yes, it is. He's got him in the armbar. He's got him in the armbar. Hannibal in a bad way. Can he get to the rope? Can he get to the rope right here? JMS has it locked in deep. And there it is. Hannibal taps out to the Martin armbar. JMS is victorious. Here is your replay. Brought to you by Crossface Pro. And here was that first submission attempt on the arm there. Here's where Hannibal threw JMS over the top rope onto the outside. There was the GTS, followed with that straight kick sh shot to the head. This is where JMS started to regain momentum in the match, fighting back there, and immediately started working right back on the arm. And it just took the, the Martin armbar at the right time. And JMS walking away with a victory here tonight. And that brings JMS's Jam Pro 2K record to 12 wins and 6 losses. He has the most wins officially in Jam Pro 2K history. Well, we're going to move on, folks. Coming up next, we got a great match. We saw Nathan Edwards take on Christian Maniac just two weeks ago on Saturday Night Showdown. This week, it's going to be Nathan Edwards, Christian Maniac, and this man in a triple threat matchup, Nick Adams. And so far this season, Nick Adams has pretty much broken even with a Jam Pro 2K record, one and one. He's going to be facing off against two talented athletes here tonight. Can he overcome the odds in this triple threat bout to advance his record to two and one? We're going to find out.
here comes Nathan Edwards. Nathan Edwards made his debut just two weeks ago in singles competition against Christian Maniac. He came out with a big win. Start off his Jam Pro 2K career the right way. Expect nothing but big things from Nathan Edwards going forward. He has another great opportunity here tonight. First time meeting Nick Adams here in Jam Pro 2K. And he has a second opportunity to defeat Christian Maniac. So let's see if he takes advantage of this opportunity. And Christian Maniac has arrived here in Indianapolis. Hasn't had a great start to season four here in Jam Pro 2K. And I'm sure he's hoping to turn that all around. Made his debut in Jam Pro 2K in season three, just after the 2019 lottery draft. Had an epic rivalry with the world champion J Omega. Just fell short at three P of winning the Jam Pro 2K World Championship. Redebuted this season just after the 2020 lottery draft. And now he finds himself here. For the second time in three weeks, he's going to be going in a matchup against Nathan Edwards with the added bonus of Nick Adams. Ken Christian Maniac. Can the Emperor turn this thing around and get back to his winning ways here in Jam Pro 2K? Well, here we go. All three men seem to be ready. And there's the bell. And right away, Nick Adams and Christian Maniac are right for each other. Nathan Edwards being, being smart, just chilling in the corner, picking his opportunity. Christian Maniac gets thrown out of the ring, and that's when Nathan Edwards takes advantage and goes right after Nick Adams. He goes right for a pin right here. One, but a quick kick out by Nick Adams. Getting picked up to his feet. Oh, great European uppercut by Nick Adams. Goes for the right hand, but it's countered by Nathan Edwards. Knocks Nick Adams down with that clothesline. Repositioning Nick Adams, setting him up for something. 
while Christian now is back in the ring. Great swing and neck breaker there by Nathan Edwards. And now Christian comes in and he picks up the scraps of Nathan Edwards. Oh, and he waits for Nathan Edwards back to be turned and he nails him with that super kick. Christian playing smart. There's an elbow right there. Oh, wait. Flips him around. Knee strikes to the face right there. And another for good measure with authority. Nathan Edwards. Now, Christian's got him up on the shoulder on his shoulders. What are we gonna see here? And he just guillotine drops him over that top rope. Turns around and gets met by a bicycle kick from Nick Adams, who then immediately goes right for Nathan Edwards. P picks him up back to his feet. Nathan Edwards with a quick arm drag. Now he's gonna hold in a front headlock on Nick Adams. So wait. Oh, and look at the teamwork there by Nathan Edwards and Christian Maniac, who then immediately go back to working on one another. There's kicks to the leg there by Christian Maniac. And wait. Oh, here we go. There's that modified DDT into the pin. One. And a kick out after one. Nathan Edwards kicks out. Nick Adams is on the outside of the ring. Christian Maniac now in full control. And look at that headbutt right there. Skull meets skull. And it looks like Christian Maniac setting up Nathan Edwards for, looks like to, to be a cutter, but Nick Adams gets back in the ring and immediately goes after Nathan Edwards. Series of knee strikes, now a double arm underhook, got him on his shoulder, spins it out into a neck breaker, going for the pin right here though, Christian Maniac right there to break it up. Now a forearm shot by Nick Edwards on the Christian Maniac. Look at that, goes for a neck breaker, Christian Maniac with a low blow. The referee must not have saw it. And Christian Maniac with a great neck breaker of his own into a pin. But quickly, Nick Adams kicks out. Not even a one count. Nathan Edwards is still out cold in the middle of the ring. While Christian Maniac continuously works on Nick Adams, who's got him in the submission hold. But immediately lets it go. Now a pin. And another kick out there. Nick Adams, I believe, is just keeps getting that bottom rope. That's three straight rope breaks in a row. There's a cutter by Christian Maniac. One, two, three right there. Christian Maniac picks up the win just like that. And Christian Maniac makes short work out of Nick Adams and Nathan Edwards. Do you see him working on the legs of Nathan? Here's where Nick Adams came back in the ring. Nathan Edwards really took the blunt of all the offense here between Nick Adams and Christian Maniac. It was that great neck breaker right there. And that was definitely a rope break. Yep, two times in a row, three times in a row. Nick Adams able to get his foot on that bottom rope for the rope break. Regardless in the end though, Christian Maniac with a dominant performance here made short work of both Nathan Edwards and Nick Adams. So two weeks ago, Christian Maniac fails to defeat Nathan Edwards in his JM Pro 2K debut. And tonight, he's able to redeem himself by defeating two men at the same time. The Emperor, victorious on Sunday Night Showdown. Well, coming up next, coming up right here, right now, we got tag team action. We got Sean City Kings, Brandon Ace, and Michael Carter taking on the last call, Scumbag Raw and Colt Bronson. And this should be a good one, folks. And here comes Brandon Ace. This young talent saw him just three nights ago on High Spot make his Cruiserweight Division debut. Went one on one with Eric Matthews. He got his first singles win. Pulling double duty this week. Now in tag team action. And there's the big man, Michael Carter. The Charm City Kings. Made their debut as a tag team just two weeks ago. And they defeated Sebastian Walker and Trey Mercer in the resistance in a 25 minute burner. After a battle, after a, a 
war with the resistance. They came out victorious. And they're going to try to stay in that trend here tonight. Here comes the last call. Oh, and it looks like JMS is going to support his last call stablemates. We saw all three of these men earlier tonight during JMS's match with Hannibal. JMS is going to repay the favor, come out with Scumbag Ra and Cole Bronson for moral support as he leads them to the ring. A lot of changes in the lineup in the last call over these last few weeks. JMS and Colt Bronson were primarily tagging together. It wasn't showing too much success as a team, so it looks like they switched it up. JMS is back to singles competition. And Scumbag Ross were called up to take the place of the tag team duo. So it's going to be very interesting to see well, Bronson and the Scumbag Raw work together here tonight. Getting our first look at Scumbag Raw and Cole Bronson again. But regardless of just that, there's definitely the added dynamic of JMS being on the outside of the ring during this matchup. That's something that Jump City Kings didn't have to deal with two weeks ago during their debut match. Not enough just to worry about the team you're facing. You're also going to worry about that extra man on the outside. All right, looks like Brandon Ace starting it off for... The Charm City Kings, Colt Bronson started off for the last call. And right out the corner comes Colt Bronson laying out Brandon Ace. And this is definitely a mismatch start here. Colt Bronson having the size advantage of Brandon Ace. Brandon Ace now slowly breaking the submission hold by Colt Bronson. With a great right hand right there. Wade goes for another, but it's caught by Bronson. It follows it up with a knee to the gut and a big clothesline there. Now bringing Brandon Ace back to his feet. But Brandon Ace fighting back with all he can with that European uppercut. Wait, into a quick roll up here. Oh, look at the strength from the cruiserweight. One, and only a one count. And Brandon Ace showing that he doesn't mind facing bigger opponents. He's in top shape. Goes for the rear waist lock, but it's quickly countered by Colt Bronson. Now from behind. He has Brandon Ace up. Oh my God, what a great back suplex right there by Bronson. Spinning Brandon Ace around. Oh, wait a second. Oh, and a roundhouse kick. Straight to the temple there. And Brandon Ace is in trouble early in this matchup. You might want to get Michael Carter in here sooner than he has to. And there, speaking of him, the big man arguing with the, the, the official. Trying to come in to support his tag team partner. Brandon Ace retakes control of the matchup, though. With a series of kicks on the Colt Bronson. Now kicking a little lower back there. Continues to add the pressure. 
grabbing his arm, continuously kicking him in the ribs and the kidney, straight shot to the face, controlling him on the mat though with that arm. JMS has a front view seat with this matchup, getting his first look at Brandon Ace himself, I'm sure. Wait a second. And Brandon Ace had to fight out of that scenario right there. He was in enemy territory. But Bronson comes right back with a clothesline. Michael Carter continuously trying to get into this match, but the referee just will not allow it. And there's the tag. Now Scumbag Raw entering the matchup. Picks up Brandon Ace. Brandon Ace with a jawbreaker there. Now, oh, wait a second. That's Scumbag up. Oh, he just drops the back of the head right on that across his knee there. Brandon Ace now. Taking the opportunity to get back in this matchup. Got a cruiserweight versus cruiserweight right here. Two members of the high spot were also going at it. Scumbag Raw retakes control. Working on the arm. Oh, and there's a cutoff right there by Brandon Ace. Great right hand right there. Scumbag Raw was not expecting that. Oh, and there's the GTS. Into the pin right there. Bronson already in the ring, but luckily, Scumbag Raw with the rope break. Brandon Ace picks Scumbag Raw up back to his feet. Irish whipping him into the uh, Charm City King corner. Going for the tag. Wait, no. Scumbag fights out of it. Now he's going to Irish whip Brandon Ace into the his home corner. See if he can take control of the opportunity here. Oh, going for off the top rope. Into a great tornado DDT. Scumbag Ross showing off the athleticism. And I think there's that just busted Brandon Ace open. He is now bleeding from the head. And wait. Scumbag Destroyer, as he calls it. And that might be it right there. If he can get the a clean pin attempt. One, two, not even a two count. Michael Carter breaks it up. But Colt Bronson hits him with that great cutter. Oh, look at the pop-up harking rod out of nowhere from Brandon Ace, who retakes control, which is the perfect time because his tag team partner just got laid out and is laying on the side of the ring. So he does not have a partner to tag in if he even wanted to right now. Scumbag Raw going right back with the quick takedown and adding the pressure. A series of left and right uh, shots to the, the head there. Brandon Ace in trouble. Now back to working on the arm. Scumbag Raw taking a page out of his cousin's book as he looks on on the side of the ring. Irish whip into the corner there. Scumbag Raw now following him. Wait, quick counter. Brandon Ace with a collar will tie up, pushing Raw off of him. Raw with the Irish whip. Now he's in the last call corner. Fights out with a big boot to the face. Scumbag Raw now needs to look out. Because now Brandon Ace has a hold of him. He's going towards the Chomp City corner. And there's Brandon Ace's attempt to cut the ring in half. Isolating Scumbag Raw. And oh, here we go. The big man is in. Scumbag Raw is completely undersized here. Talk about a mismatch. But he's wisely going right for the legs of the big man, using the ring as a weapon. Temporarily wrapping the leg of Michael Carter around that bottom rope. Trying to snap the ankle there. It's the best way to take a big man off his feet. Wait, Irish whip into the corner. Referee almost got taken down right there. It's going back raw in trouble. There's a tag back to Brandon Ace. Looks like we're going to see some tag teamwork right here by Charm City Kings. Brennan Ace off the top rope, dropping the leg across the back of the neck. Scumbag Raw in trouble. Brennan Ace setting up for something. He's got him up. And a GTS again. The knockout blow. One, and a breakup by Colt Bronson. Wait, dodges the kick to the midsection. Colt Bronson wisely gets back on the outside of the eighth. The ref is trying to we take control of the matchup here. Scumbag Raw somehow takes advantage of the, dis the distraction there. And now Scumbag Raw working on Brandon Ace. Once again, off the top rope into a tornado DDT. And he is really applying this high flying offense. Over the leg. One. And a breakup. Right before two. Michael Carter getting involved again. 
Wait, Colt Bronson with a great driver right there on to Michael Carter. Meanwhile, Brandon Ace now put into the corner again by Scumbag. Scumbag just working on Brandon, Aust Br Brandon Ace, teeing off on him. And a straight drop kick to the side of the head. Scumbag Raw now up to the top rope. What are we going to see here? Oh, he goes to the leg drop, but he crashes and burns. Fighting back with Brandon Ace, though. Desperately trying to stay in control. The referee's just been knocked down. There's a tag to Colt Bronson. Now Brandon Ace might fall victim to some last call teamwork. Unbelievable. Look, oh, here's the pin. One, two, three right there in the last call. Pick up their first tag team victory here in season four of Jam Pro 2K. Here's your replay brought to you by Crossface Pro. Here's earlier on in the match with Scumbag just got tagged in. Showing off that athleticism right there. Climbing to the top rope at Springboard Tornado DDT. Here it is for the second time. Great athleticism by Scumbag Rock from a Cruiserweight champion in his own right. And there you go, it pays off right there. It's the last call. Now celebrating in the middle of the ring. JMS is proud. Trying to hype up this crowd. And we're moving right along, folks. A match that we've been waiting for for a month and a half. The Flins have done everything in their power to not allow these two to get to this point. Well, we're finally going to find out who's going to get a Women's World Championship match. Is it going to be Jess Porter? Or is it going to be Mia Galat? Both these women that are going to be in this matchup, folks, have had a rough start to season four. Jessica Porter and Mia Galati first met at the 2020 Draft Lottery Special. And they both got drafted to opposite brands and had to face each other one-on-one. -on -one. At the end of that matchup, Mia Galati was victorious, but the women's champion, Rose Flynn, came in and attacked both Jessica Porter and Mia Galati. Two weeks later, Rose Flynn is scheduled to face Mia Galati on Friday Night Live and face Jessica Porter on Saturday Night Showdown. But there was a catch, and that was the premiere, the debut, the first ever appearance on Jam Pro 2K by Hallie Flynn. And since Hallie Flynn has gotten into Jam Pro 2K, she has done everything in her power to prevent either Jessica Porter or Mia Galati to get a championship shot. We saw Rose Flynn defeat Ash Steele two nights ago on Friday Night Live in the Steel Cage match. Donnie Dumps has assured us that he has beefed up security and that Hallie Flynn will not be here tonight. So we are getting the match that we deserve. Mia Galati, Jessica Porter going one on one once again. This time, the winner is guaranteed a world title shot. If you remember two weeks ago on Saturday Night Showdown, it was originally scheduled to be Mia Galati, Jessica Porter versus Rose Flynn in the triple threat match. If Mia Galati or Jessica Porter was to pin the champion, they would get a championship match then. But Allie Flynn had a whole different plan in mind. Ended up entering the matchup out of nowhere, and the match turned into a tornado tag team match. It's taken a long road for these two women to get to this point, and here we go. Quickly, Mia Galati with the quick advantage. Great slam right there, taking down Jessica Porter. Kick to the side of the hip right there. Trying to stomp her while she's on the ground. Jessica Porter gets back to her feet. 
Wait, there's a quick kick to the face there by Mia Galati. There's the push off by Jessica Porter. There's a jawbreaker by Mia Galati fighting right back in this. Goes for the big boot. Wait a second. Oh, and a nice suplex right there by Jessica Porter. Following it with a kick to the back. And now it has Mia Galati by the hair. Dragging her over to the corner. Wait, no, up against the ropes. Irish whip. Here comes Mia Galati. There's a great leapfrog. Goes for the spin and wheel kick and misses. Mia Galati sidesteps it. Now Mia Galati taking control. Picks just Porter up, who slithers out of the suplex attempt. Or body slam attempt, I'm sorry. Goes for a kick, though. Misses. Mia Galati has Jess Porter by the hair. Turns it into a great maneuver right there. Driving Jessica Porter face first onto the knees. But only gets a one count. Quickly doesn't allow it. Doesn't allow her herself to get aggravated. Tries to stay in the offensive. Before that, Dragon Screw takedown by Jessica Porter. Wait a second. Mia Galati now with a jawbreaker of her own. And wait a second. Tilt the world. Roll up right there. Great move right there. Wasn't sure if she was trying to turn it into a schoolboy pin. And there's a big bitch slap by Mia Galati. Jessica Porter. Well, he just lost a tooth out of that. Mia Galati setting up Jessica Porter. Looks like looking for the finish. Wait a second. There it is right there. Jessica Porter going face first into the mat. Getting dragged out of the corner now. Hook the leg right here. One, two, three. Oh my God, a kick out right before three. It had to be more than two and a half. Mia Galati can't believe it. And now Mia Galati setting up. We go to the top rope. High risk maneuver right here. Oh, and catches nothing but the knees of Jessica Porter. Driving all the wind out of Mia, but Mia somehow is still fighting. Bringing Jessica over to the rope. Irish whip, Jessica off the rope. Goes for the super kick, misses. Jessica Porter puts on the brakes. Irish whip and Mia now. Mia in a bad way on that apron and gets punched right off. Jessica Porter going outside in pursuit. Wait a second, Mia Galati kicks the shin of Jess. Tries to give herself breathing room. Jess goes back in the ring, followed by Mia. Both women now back in the ring. Pop up, Samoan drop by Jessica Porter. And once again, now stalking Mia. Mia Galati in trouble. Kick to the midsection by Jessica. Off the rope. Pop up. Power bomb right there. One. Two. And another kick out right before three. Mia Galati knows what is at stake. Knows if she can hang in there. Get the opportunity to win this matchup. She is going to get a women's world championship match. But wait. Jessica Porter taking her time. Picking Mia Galati apart. Oh, wait. Pop-up Hurricane Rana off the mat by Mia Galati. That was out of nowhere. Now Jessica Porter in a bad way. Being brought to her feet. Oh, brought right up. And dropped right down. Mia Galati stretching Jessica Porter out. Wait, Jessica Porter comes up. Mia Galati gets slammed right into the mat. Must be taking a toll in the lower back of Mia Galati right there. Jessica Porter taking a breather of her own, but, but, but I think wasting a lot of time. And there's the reason why. Goes for the body slam. Mia Galati counters out of it. Falls with the right hand from behind. Great maneuver right there. Seems to be hooking one leg of Jessica Porter. So she cannot move. Oh, and continuously slamming her. Three times in a row. Now repositioning Jess Porter. Going for the pin right here. One, two, and a kick out right before three. And now you're seeing the frustration set in. Now you're seeing the desperation set in. These two women just want to get in and out of here with a win. Jessica Porter putting Mia Galati in the corner there. Mia Galati fights back with the knee to the gut. Way to counter by Jess Porter. Jess Porter now coming back at Mia. And there's a German suplex. Jessica Porter keeping her arms wrapped around the waist to continuously toss Mia in a third German right there. 
Mia Galati landing high and tight on each slam. Ref out of position. One, two, and another kick out. These two women putting everything they have into this matchup. It's all about who wants it more. Who wants the one-on-one -on -one match with Rose more? It is a frog splash off the top rope by Jess Porter. Bringing Mia to her feet. Springboard goes for the body splash, but completely flew over Mia Galati. Completely missed. Was able to get up anyway. In the reverse DDT. After a series of knee strikes to the lower back. Wait a second. Mia Galati coming back with a jawbreaker. Punches to the gut right there. Mia Galati trying to regain momentum. There's a hook of the leg right there. One. Two. Three. Oh my God. Again. Another near fall. These women are putting everything they got into this matchup. Jessica Porter in trouble here. Miglotti locking that arm, working on the shoulder there. Just trying to keep Porter grounded. Porter rolls out of the hold. Oh wait, gets turned into a rear wrist lock, and that's how you do it. Just Porter with an elbow, breaking up the hold altogether. Wait a second. As Miglotti up for a power bomb into a slam pin. One, two, three, right there. Oh, wait, no, turned it into a Boston Crab. I don't know if that was a kick out or Jessica Porter chose to turn it into a Boston Crab. But either way, Mia Galati gets out of it. But that, that, I thought that was a three count, folks. Mia Galati now getting dragged to the middle of the ring. Oh, what a great move right there. Tossing Mia Galati up and catching her into that cutter. One. Two, three right there. Jessica Porter is the number one contender. Jessica Porter punches her ticket and guarantees herself a JM Pro 2K Women's Championship title match. And here's your replay brought to you by Crossface Pro. This was a back and forth competitive bout. No interruptions. Both these women should be proud of the performance that they put on here tonight. Mia Galati just fell short of a victory here. Towards the end, it was really who was just going to hit that last big time move to finish it and seal the deal. As you can see, these women beat the living hell out of each other. But only one woman can walk in and win this matchup. And tonight was Jessica Porter's night. With that big power bomb right there, I thought that was it. Ended up turning into a Boston Crab. But there you see the winner, Jessica Porter. Oh my God, are you kidding me? There are the Flins. And Jessica Porter wants some, but I don't know if you want to take all three of them on at once. That was not the situation you want to be in. As we get that sorted out. We're moving on to the New England Championship matchup. The Outcast taking on Crimson Black right now. The following matchup is a no holds barred, no disqualification, falls count anywhere match, and it is for the Jam Pro 2K New England Championship. And the Outcast has had an interesting start to season four. He was insulted when not being drafted at the 2020 Lottery Draft Supercard. Two weeks later, he showed up on Friday Night Live and Saturday Night Showdown attacking roster members of each brand to make his point. He then was given an opportunity if he was to win one of two matches he would get a contract. Luckily for him he didn't need to actually win it. Crimson Black came in attacking the outcast causing a disqualification. 
giving the outcast a contract by technicality. And this man, two nights ago, shocked the virtual pro wrestling world. Two days ago, this man was a member of Dragon's Lair. Up until he screwed Chris Malenko out of his world championship opportunity. He betrayed Chris Malenko, he betrayed the Dragon Slayer. And you've got to think that Crimson in the back of his head knows he has a target on his back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is your challenger. He is the leader of excellence with a Jam Pro 2K record of 2 and 5. The Outcast. And your champion. He has a Jam Pro 2K record of 7 wins, 4 losses. He is your reigning and defending Jam Pro 2K New England champion, Crimson Black. Crimson handing over the New England championship to the official. The official sharing with the outcast what is on the line. And that is what it's all about right here right now ladies and gentlemen the new england strap is on the line the outcast looks ready crimson looks ready and here we go and right away both men flying out of the corner with both different types of offense but they both miss quick elbow strikes out of the rear waist lock with a forearm shot followed with a kick it's caught by outcast it goes around the back into a great ddt right there outcast now Trying to start off hot and heavy. Needs a different game plan than what he did when he faced Crimson just two weeks ago. Oh, he goes to the clothesline. Crimson ducks like he had eyes behind his head, but a quick knee to the back of the knee. Crimson now into the corner. Goes to the right hand. Let's duck. Oh, wait. Kick to the midsection. There's a great bicycle knee strike by the champion. Kicks the outcast while he's down. Continuously trying to add you. Oh, wait, great shoulder block there out of nowhere by Outcast. Outcast now with the straight Claymore kick. And he's already setting up for a finisher. Could this be over that quickly? Goes for and he connects. Just like that. Hook of the leg. One, two, and a kick out by the champion. And that would have been a hell of an upset, folks, if Outcast was to win the title that quickly. Outcast staying on the offensive. Wait a second. Quick counter back by Crimson. Crimson with the shoulder thrust. Now wait a second. What's he doing here? Oh, wait. It looks like he's tying Outcast in a knot. And this is more insulting than painful there as he kicks Outcast right in the rear end. And now, what's Crimson doing? He's on the outside. 
This is a no holds bar, no DQ match. Looks like he's trying to grab himself an equalizer. There's a a ladder. Throws it into the ring. Outcast comes from the other side of the ring, and he says, "No, thank you." Starting to work on Crimson on the outside. Crimson cuts him off with a great right hand, followed by another. Wait a second. There's a nice fireman's carry. Nice counter by Outcast. All these men battling on the outside, and there is no count out. You can even pin your opponent on the outside of the ring. This match is not restricted to staying inside the squared circle. There's a super kick by Outcast. Going back to the arm now. Crimson looks out of it. Oh, wait, there's an elbow. Going right back. Outcast. Oh, look at that. Great suplex and nips up. Now Outcast in trouble. Crimson on his feet. Crimson going back under the ring, though. Wait a second. Outcast back to his feet. Oh, wait. What's that? He's got a bat in his hand. Outcast rips it right out of his hand there. Oh, and he cracks him right between the eyes. Somehow he gets right back to his feet. But Outcast catches him and hits him with a German suplex on the outside. Slamming him on that very thin mat. And now drops the back of the head of Crimson right on that knee. Big right hand. And another. And another. Outcast applying the pressure now. Throws him back into the ring. Rolls him over here. Looks he's going for a pin. One. Two. And a kick out. Unbelievable. Crimson was literally cracked in the head with a baseball bat. And then hit with a German suplex. And he still kicked out of it. And now Outcast, oh, he's with that blatant rear naked choke, but no holds are barred. And that's using your head. Crimson able to fight out of it. Wait a second. Chris Malenko has arrived, and he looks like he wants to kill Crimson Black. Oh, my God, there it is. And just like that, Chris Malenko trying to pay back Crimson Black for what he did just two nights ago on Friday Night Live costing him his title shot and now both men in the ring are just out cold Outcast slowly gets to his feet notices Crimson's down, here's the pin attempt ref's out of position though, one and only a one count Outcast is like, are you kidding me was hoping the extra help by Chris Malenko would have finished it, but no. The champion's still fighting back. But there's a big clothesline by Outcast. Crimson with a jawbreaker, though. Goes for another bicycle kick. It's caught again, and another clothesline. But Crimson still with the fight in him. Shoulder thrust, takedown. Goes there. Goes to attack Outcast. Outcast with a big clothesline. Crimson now on the outside of the ring. Picking him up. What are we going to see here? Set him up for something. Oh, he just drives him face first against the side of the ring there. And a big chop, right hand, and another. And a big backdrop there. Throwing Crimson on the back of his neck. And there's like a pump handle. Oh, he dropped the back of his head on across that knee. We saw that earlier. Outcast is just throwing everything he's got onto the champion. Crimson slow to get to his feet. Outcast stalking him. And there's the cutter. Outcast is doing everything he has in his arsenal right now. The champion is in trouble. Big right hand by Outcast. Misses the super kick, though. There's a right hand by the champion. Wait a second. Ducks the clothesline. Kick to the midsection. Big knee strike. Kick to the gut. And trips up Outcast. The champion fighting back with everything he has. He has held that title for six months there's a big clothesline and another Ducks outcast attempt comes off the rope with another clothesline Crimson now in control the champion in control 
And a big brain buster right there. Crimson Black looking to finish it off. After everything that's happened to him in this match. Oh, wait. Outcast had it scouted. Goes to the drop kick. It's sidestepped. Kick to the midsection by the Outcast. Goes around the back. Big DDT. Picking him up. There's that pump handle. Drops him right across the knee again. Hook of the leg right here. One, two, and a kick out by Crimson. Outcast cannot believe it. Crimson's been hit with a bat. Dropped on the back of his neck. Kicked right to the head by Chris Malenko. There's the big cutter. Could this be it? One, two, three right there. The Outcast. The Outcast has broken the streak. And is the new New England champion. Here is your replay. Brought to you by Crossface Pro. This was a war, folks. At some point, Chris Malenko even came into this matchup and nailed Crimson straight in the head. Even after that, Crimson was still fighting back, still defending his title. But were the odds stacked against them? Were they just too much? Congratulations to the Outcast, your new champion. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the main event of the night, and we're not wasting any time because here comes our first competitor, Ashley Gomez, getting set for this elimination fatal four-way. And there you see it, Ashley Gomez versus Ember Gray, and we got two mystery opponents that Donnie scheduled for tonight. main story here has to be the fact that Ashley Gomez and Ember Gray are both in this matchup because they have just been going back and forth this season since they both been drafted to the showdown brand. We saw them a month ago face off in competition where Ember Gray got a big triple threat win. Ashley Gomez was so disgusted with the loss that she challenged her for a match two weeks ago, one-on-one. -on -one. 
Ember Bray won that matchup as well. So here is the third time these women face this season in a fatal four-way elimination match. And the winner becomes the first ever Jam Pro 2K Women's Internet Champion. So the stakes are as high as they're going to get. The question is, who are these two mystery opponents that Donnie has added to this match? Who are we going to get? Oh, are you kidding me? Pseudo Madness has returned the Jam Pro 2K. This woman made her debut last season and was just unstoppable. So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With One of the most like dominant Jam Pro Women's World Champions with in the history of the company. Enough of my case, so let's cut to the chase. Listen up, cause these are the directions. Obey what I say, don't Donnie dumps with a shocking sign in here. Pseudo Madness is the first mystery opponent. Who does he got for the second? Oh, wait. Are you kidding me? Another familiar face from season three. Megan May returning to Jam Pro 2K. Another woman that made her debut last season, season three. Didn't have a great premiere season. Ended up with a record of one in nine, I believe. But I'm sure she has come back here in Jam Pro 2K to turn that record around. And she's got a great shot right here, right now. get her second career win here in Jam Pro and also become the first ever women's internet champion. And this is turning into a great main event. And there you see it folks, for the first time ever, the Jam Pro 2K Women's Internet Championship bout. This is a, an elimination style matchup. So once a competitor either is pinned or submits, they are eliminated from the match. And here we go. And right away, Ember Gray, Megan May going at it. And Pseudo Madness, Ashley Gomez going at it. Great arm drag by Ember Gray onto Megan May. Quickly, Megan May counters. Sweeps the legs out from under Ember Gray. Ember Gray in that half crab. Great fireman's carry on the opposite side of the ring by Pseudo Madness on Ashley Gomez. Kicks to knock Ashley Gomez down. Megan May now getting brought back to her feet, but counters with a jawbreaker on Ember Gray. And a single leg drop kick for good measure. And Megan May trying to get this crowd behind her. But quickly, Ember Gray cuts her off. Meanwhile, you got Ashley Gomez and Pseudo Madness exchanging forearms. With a quick kick to the midsection there. And a bicycle kick that connects. And now she just scoops Pseudo Madness up. Oh, and drops her across the knee there. Pseudo gets right back to her feet. But gets caught with an elbow by Ashley Gomez. 
And meanwhile, you get Ember Bray stretching out Megan May. Megan May counters into a pin cover, but not even a one count there. Big slam by Pseudo Madness on Ashley Gomez while Ember Bray works on Megan May, but quickly, Megan May fights back. Kick to the midsection. Another kick to the midsection. Wait. No. You're going to pin attempt. Pseudo Madness on Ashley Gomez, but it's only a count of two. And there's a big angle slam by Ember Bray on the Megan May. And quickly wrapping her legs around the head of Megan May, trying to cut off the oxygen to the brain there. And a big clothesline to take Megan May down. And wait a second, Ember Gray is stalking Megan May. And there's the stunner right there. It took two of those to Ashley Gomez to put her away last week. One, two, and a kick out right at two. Ashley Gomez with a great cutter on the pseudo madness. And now Ashley Gomez on the top rope. Oh my God, look at the moonsault. One, two, and a kick out by pseudo madness. Ember Gray, pick it up. Megan May for another angle slam. Ashley Gomez with another great slam on the pseudo madness. Oh, right there. Megan May just got eliminated by Ember Gray. Megan May with being eliminated first out of this matchup. And a backdrop there by Ember Gray. Pseudo madness in trouble, being stalked by Ember Gray. Oh, and there's Ashley Gomez sa saving Pseudo from the stutter. Now both Ashley Gomez and Pseudo Madness working on Ember Gray here. And this is just all out war between these three competitors. Ember Gray in a bad way. Pseudo Madness guillotine drops Ember Gray across the top rope. And working on the leg there as Ashley Gomez crawls to the rope, needing help to get to her feet. Here's a pin attempt. One, two, oh, not even a two count. Ashley Gomez comes in with a great uh, head scissors takedown on the pseudo. Didn't even see it coming. Oh, back, backflip. Drives her knees into the gut there. Pseudo Madness with the cover. I mean, Pseudo Madness getting pinned. Two, three right there. And just like that, we're down to Ember Gray and Ashley Gomez. Winner will be the internet champion. Ember Gray fighting back out of that, uh, that maneuver there with her elbows. Oh, drives Ashley Gomez face first onto her knee. Ashley Gomez getting picked back up now. Kick to the midst. There's a stunner right there that put away Ashley Gomez two weeks ago. What's Ember Gray doing though? She's not going for the pin. Ember Gray wasting time. Definitely going to regret that decision. She could have had the title right there if she jumped right on Ashley Gomez for the cover. Instead, now she is just spinning Ashley Gomez around the world. You're going to be careful with moves like that, though. You'll even make yourself dizzy. One, two, three. Oh, my God, the kick out by Ashley Gomez. Ember Gray is already on the top rope, though, and misses. Ashley Gomez saw it coming. Ashley Gomez saw the elbow drop coming. Oh, what a great handspring. Back elbow. Big stop from the lower back. Ember Gray's head getting smashed against the mat. Ember Gray in trouble. Ashley Gomez in control. Looks like she's going to lock in this half crab. Modified. Got it elevated too. But Ember Gray able to use her free foot to kick out of it. Ember Gray, Ashley Gomez. I'm sure when they got into this matchup, they didn't think they'd be the last two women standing. As Ember Gray using the ring rope as a weapon. Very smart when it comes to using her surroundings. There's a blatant slap by Ember Gray, just disrespecting Ashley Gomez. Oh, wait, goes for the kick there and misses. Ashley Gomez comes back with a big strike right there. Wait, wait a second. What are we going to see here? Power. There's a power bomb into a pin. One, two. Wait a second. Ashley Gomez flips it over into a, a Boston Crab once again. Ember Gray able to fight out of it. You gotta wonder if the damage has been done to that lower back. 
Look at the leg right here. One, two, and a kick out by Amber Gray. So close to a three count. Ashley Gomez could taste gold. Kick to the face by Amber Gray. And the angle slam. Angle slam by Amber Gray. Hook of the leg right here. This might be it. One, two, three. Oh my God, another close call. Another kick out. Ashley Gomez is still alive in this thing. Fighting to get back to her feet. Big forearm shot right to Ember Gray. Ember Gray getting Irish whipped into the corner. There's another handspring back elbow. Big stop to Ember while she's down. Here we go. We saw this, this moonsault driving the knees into the gut. Look at the leg right there. One, two, and another kick out. Ember Gray this time kicking out. Both women slow back to their feet. Kick to the midsection. She goes with the stunner. Ashley Gomez pushes Ember Gray off of her this time. Saw it coming. Off the ropes. Oh, goes for the springboard moonsault, but misses. And Ember wisely goes for the pin. One, two, and not even a two count, though. Going to take more than that. You're going to think Ember knows at this point. She's going to have to hit the stunner, and she's going to put her away. Forearm shot by Ashley, though. Ashley with an Irish whip. Gets the ropes. Ember Gray gets... A right hand shot to the side of the face it looked like. European uppercut. Ember Gray now in the corner. Another back elbow right there. Ashley Gomez not trying to slow down. Just trying to keep the offense flowing. Wait a second. Using the ropes. One, two, and a kick out. Ashley Gomez trying to use the ropes to her advantage. Trying to get some extra leverage on the pin cover. Back elbow thrown by Ember. Kick to the midsection, caught by Ashley, encounters with a roundhouse that just caught Ember Gray in the back of the head, and she looks like she is out cold. Ashley Gomez immediately going to the top rope. Oh my God, that backflip that landed on her feet. Her feet just landed on the gut of Ember Gray. Ember Gray with a quick arm drag there. Ashley Gomez rolls back to her feet, goes for the hip, the hip attack, I believe it's called. Ashley Gomez with a quick slam there. One, two, and a kick out. These two women know exactly what's at stake now. They are both fighting for their lives. Only one of them will walk out of here with the Jam Pro 2K Women's Internet Champion. Only one of them will mark their name in the history books for the history of this company who will be the first ever women's internet champion as that half crab's locked in Ember Gray kicking out of it once again both women back to their feet Ember Gray was under the arm around the back dropping Ashley Gomez on her knee there Ashley Gomez coming back with a jawbreaker kicked in the midsection Ashley Gomez off the ropes sunset flip Driving Ember Gray into her knees. One, two, three right there. Ashley Gomez does it. Ashley Gomez is the first ever Jam Pro 2K Women's Champion. Here's your replay brought to you by Cross Face Pro. And this shows you what both these women had to go, what they had to go through just to get to the final two. You had Pseudo Madness and Megan May in this matchup. There was that stunner right there by Ember, followed by the big swing. Neither of these were able to put away Ashley. In the end, Ashley Gomez able to show off her resiliency. It's not only her first ever Jam Pro 2K win, but she is now also the first ever Jam Pro 2K internet champion in the history of the women's division. Congratulations to Ashley Gomez. You are the Jam Pro 2K Women's Internet Champion. Thank you for joining us here tonight for a Sunday night showdown. We'll see you in two weeks. Showdown will be back on Saturday night.